Good afternoon, a small video presentation to reiterate on a subject that I discussed with you in the previous video. We are going to go through three slides. This first slide will show us what we were talking about, excess carbohydrates intake when we eat too much carbs causes us damage in the body in so many places. How does that happen? As I explained, the body fits five liters of blood on average. In the five liters, a normal blood content, a normal blood concentration is five grams of sugar. Okay? Carbohydrates are only seen in the body as glucose. And the glucose is the form of carbohydrate source of energy. So five grams of glucose is the maximum amount that the body can take before it goes into diabetes. So physiologically, the body has to protect us from becoming ill and becoming diabetic. So the excess of sugar that comes in from our intake has to go somewhere to be stored. The body has minimal capacity to store carbohydrates. So the muscles can store up to 400 grams. The liver can store up to 100 grams. The excess of that will go to the liver again and then comes out as fat, 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 cause damage. Now I have to tell you one thing also. The storage in the muscles and the liver happen only under two conditions, proper insulin secretion and proper insulin function. That means if you're diabetic or if you're pre-diabetic or if you have insulin resistance, you can't even come close to that storage. So the push out of fat from the liver will come earlier. Next slide. Now, this is what happened on a high carbohydrate diet. Your glucose will increase, your insulin will increase. When insulin increases, you are going to become overweight and have all the insulin, uh, the hyperinsulinemia related diseases that we talked about in the previous video. Uh, uric acid, ApoB and CRP are inflammatory markers. They also increase. Abdominal fat increases, body mass increases, your bad cholesterol increases, your good cholesterol decreases. So the only thing that decreases on a high carb is your good cholesterol. The outcome of this is heart attacks, metabolic syndrome, which is pre-diabetes, stroke, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, infertility, and cancer. So there's inflam inflammation in the arteries. This is why I said heart attack here. Let's go ahead and uh, third slide. Now, this is what happened on a low carb, high fat. Low carb, high fat, that means ketogenic diet. It lowers the ApoB, which is an inflammatory marker. It lowers your triglycerides, your small particle LDL, which are the bad cholesterol, insulin. It lowers your abdominal fat, your body mass index, your glucose. Your LP little a, which is a bad cholesterol, it's, an, it's a genetic uh, inheritance of, of this bad cholesterol, the increase of it is genetic. However, the ketogenic diet decreases it. High sensitivity C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory marker, also decreases. The only thing that increases on a ketogenic diet is the good cholesterol. Go figure. Now, the outcome it will lower your obesity risk, it will lower your stroke risk, your cancer risk, your hypertension, which is high blood pressure risk, your diabetes, your risk for diabetes will be lowered, it will cure your metabolic syndrome, which is a pre-diabetic state, it will increase the chances for you to have a baby, so it increases the fertility. So at the end we're going to say go keto.